resolution because a stronghold is in your spirit. Mm. You have given over too often this, this, this mindset, this perception mm. have imprisoned you and I have to do whatever it says because I have not learned how to overthrow it. Come on. To pull it down. It has exalted itself over what I know God wants from me. Come on. And many people will say, Pastor, you know, you was talking to me today. You was talking to me today. Mm -hmm. And they say that sometimes, and in my mind, I, go, I wish they would live out what they say. I just yeah. 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 You were stepping all on my toes. <laughs> Your message blessed me today. It didn't work on Monday. <laughs> I, I, I'm confused. If I take a Tylenol every time I hurt, Doc gave me some, 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 say muscle relaxers, right? So I take a muscle relaxer so my back don't hurt. So it feels better. I can move, I can bend, I can run, I can do stuff. And when it's stiffed up again, what I do, I take another muscle relaxer. Yeah. How come we can't do God like that? Every time the enemy comes at me and I start to act like I don't know God, why well, can't take on some Jesus? Why well, can't take another dose of God? Why well, can't we understand? If he is the answer, he is the prescription to my ills. Explain to me why I can't keep waiting. What did, what did, what did the apostle say last Sunday? Where's my notes? Let me go back to that because that solved my problem the last time. But we got to just live in our problem. And blame everybody else. And when you realize you the problem, you go, well, ain't nobody perfect. A stronghold. Your mindset. Oh, y'all don't want to talk. Y'all make me mad. We dibble and dabble in so much unnecessary foolishness. God don't have time to integrate our minds and live in our minds and give us peace. Because yeah. we've become captive. We've danced into the pine piper of the day. Don't even realize it. Don't even know it. Jesus. Tell your neighbor, that's me. Yeah, that's me. Know it. But I got access to authority. Yeah. I got weapons I can fight with. Come on. We have the, our activity, our access. Now we have our authority. Here it is in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. I ain't got but one more verse to go. I'm going to leave you alone. Okay. It said, I have the authority to cast down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bring it into captivity. Every thought to be obedient to Christ. That's the power I have. Yeah. Yeah. Devil, I refuse to stay in this mindset. I refuse to allow people to draw me into their foolishness. I said the other Sunday, stop allowing people to play the victim in a problem they call. You stop trying to be the fireman to other folks' problems. And some folks, you, some people, they have such a need to be needed. Right. You need to learn how to validate yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, when God has validated me so I know who I am, I don't need anybody else to need me. But when you need somebody else to need you, you will stay in their life. You'll integrate your life. You'll put yourself in their situation to try to give them an answer. So I thank God for her or for him. Because had he not, because you take taking all these accolades, no, you that belongs to God. Come on. I'm not so insecure that I need your, your amen. I don't need your attaboy. Are you listening? If you take a test and you got all the answers right, you don't need to teach say, oh, Charlie got an A. I already know I got an A. I got all the answers right. It's nice that you said it, but I didn't need you to validate it. But some people need validation because they don't know who they are. Yeah. 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 
And they spend too much time trying to get somebody else to tell them who they are. And I keep telling you, people can only describe you. They cannot define you. That's a difference. I have authority. I have to live my life the way it's living. God has given me power to be victorious over everything that comes in my life. I just got to start walking in power. The last thing. Yes, Lord. Verse 3, you have your activity. Mm -hmm. Verse 4 is your access. Verse 5 is your authority. Lord. And verse 10, mm -hmm. verse 6, I'm sorry, yeah. is your attitude. Somebody yeah. say attitude. Yeah. Here it is right here in the text. And having in a readiness to revenge. Mm -hmm. You got to be ready. You got to have an attitude. Say, uh -uh, no, I ain't letting you go. No, I ain't letting you slide. I saw you. I, I see you. No, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm a devil slayer. Amen. I'm a demon destroyer. I see you. I am letting you get away. You're not going to come into my life and destroy my life and think it's okay. Don't you ever think there ain't no consequences coming behind what you did. Oh yeah, I got you. And I'm always ready to put my foot on your neck. I am sure doing it. It makes my day yeah. to kick the devil yeah. in his head. Yeah. Come on. I laugh at him every time he try to come at me. This is the best you got? Right. I'm my attitude. Yeah. Right. Having a readiness to revenge all yeah. disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. When I, God brings me out, when I walk in God's obedience, come on. When I become a victim, yeah. look at you. You thought you had me, didn't you? Come on. You thought you was going to win this time. Yeah, I told you you were going to win when you try. Come on. Y'all hear my back? Are y'all hearing me? Come yeah. on. I tell the devil all the time. Mm. Devil, if you see me running, yeah. if you see me bagging up, yeah. I'm not retreating. That's it. I'm reloading. That's my mindset. I ain't retreating. I'm reloading. Tell your neighbor it's time to reload. It's time to reload. That's how I run out of ammo. I ain't tired. You tired, devil? You tired already? You tired already? I ain't tired. I got some more for you. Stand on move, don't go nowhere. When I was in school, they said, I'm going to get you at 315. That's good. Meet me outside. What corner do you want me to meet you at? They may be bigger than you, two years older than you, but I got to listen. I'm a little dog, but I got a big fight. As I say, it ain't, the, it, it, ain't, it ain't the dog in the fight, it's the fight in the dog. Like that. Come on. I got something for you. I ain't scared of you. As I come to my clothes, I'll never, I, listen, I, I'm like lions and wolves. I run in packs. I ain't never coming by myself. The angels of the Lord are with me. The Holy Ghost is with me. The power of the kingdom is with me. I'm never running by myself. You may not see it, but you're going to see it when I'm done. How did this guy, how did this girl, how did they overtake 32 demons? Because I got power in me. I don't roll by myself. Tell your neighbor, I got authority in my mind. I tell somebody to use what you got. Use what you got. Put your hands together and give God some praise. Just celebrate the Lord like you have been through. Celebrate Him. Like you already won. Because whatever you need from God, He has already fulfilled it. It really is already done. We just have to live. Watch this. We got to live until the day that it's revealed. Amen. But the blessings are already done. Amen. 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 The invitation is extended if you're here today. And you have not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. You never asked him to forgive you for your sins. This is the time. Say, Lord, I want to be saved. That means 
that when I pass from this life to the next, I will spend eternity with you in the kingdom. Because we are all going to have eternal life. The question is, where are you going to spend it? So God, I want to spend it with you. I want to give you my life today. Are you hearing me? And if you are saved, you've given God your life, but you don't have a pastor, you don't have a church home, you're not faithful, you don't have a spiritual covering, you don't have a church family, and you need that. Amen. Amen. They invite you to come. Amen. 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 If you go to a church and you ain't happy where you at. Okay. Amen. Amen. We move residents all the time. Yeah. We move jobs all the time. Yeah. Amen. You ain't got to stay in no church where you being fed. Amen. Who told you? It ain't even in the scriptures. It's, it's not even in the Bible. Right. We can change jobs. We can change residents. We can change companions. Yeah. Sometimes we change kids. Yeah. <laughs> I can show change churches. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Is there one today? Is there one that said, I got to do things different. I want things better. I need more of God. And this is the time for me to act. If you're here, you can come. Is there one? I'm going to say this and I'm going to let you go. Sometimes we don't know when God is really talking. Yeah. Yeah. If in your mind, we talk about the mind, mm -hmm. if in your mind you say, you know what, I think I need to do this, that's God. Yeah. And if in your mind you say, no, I don't know, maybe I'll wait, yeah. let me see, that's the devil. Amen. Yeah. I can't make it no simpler than that. Amen. Yeah. Because the Lord wants you in the kingdom. Yes. He wants to, to be in your heart all the time. Yes. Navigate your life and, and be there for you in a more intimate way. Amen. 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 Put your hands together and give God some praise.